let's make a summary of all of the basic logic case. So we did and, we did or, and we did not. Those are the only three basic logic gates. All digital systems are based on ands, ors, and nots. In the real world, you make these gates by putting together a bunch of real elements. So transistors, resistors, and diodes. When you stick all those together, you make them in the teeniest, tiniest form possible, and you make them perform the logic and, the logic or, or the inverse logic. And then you make combinations of and, or, and inverse logic. And that's how digital systems work. So you're going to get to experiment with making these digital systems that do things uh, in your lab. It's pretty exciting. So uh, let's look at the and operation. We have the combination zero and zero. And the output to that would be also low. If you have a low signal and a high signal, the, ans the output would be low. If you have a high signal and a low signal, the output is low. But if you have two high signals coming in, then the output is one or is high. If you have an OR gate and two low signals are coming in, low or low is going to give you a low output. But if one of those inputs is a high, then you're going to get a high output. If both of those inputs are high, you also get a high output. And the NOT gate, which is our inverter, says if the input is zero, then it gets inverted and the output is one. If the input was one, it gets inverted and the output is zero. So that's a nice summary of our three basic gates that all digital systems are made out of.